Well, hello everyone, I'm back playing this game again, so... Two hours later... <clears throat> There's more coming up! What's the plan here? They'll surround us in Oh, Jesus, the sound We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us! Okay. Where do you want us? Well, this is where we left off last time. And I'm sick, so... It might sound a little bit not so loud, so again I just don't know where to go now. We held them off at the shuttle, we can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. Yeah, we're probably gonna I'm die soon. So. They mean business! Keep them off your dad! I forgot how to crouch, so possible that's 25 percent decrypted. Hurry, we don't have long. What about that one? Hold both sides! Can't let them slip through! Wait, what? What is this place anyway? I think I had the worst checkpoint ever. People are still counting on us! I'm just getting warmed up! Yeah, what the heck? Keep them off your dad. Analyze possible inputs. Twenty-five percent encrypted. Come on. We don't have long. I can't crouch, so I don't know why I can't crouch. Two hours later. Oh yeah, this video is fun. Shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll Holy see crap, they're strong. Who do you plan on talking to? More like what? I think it's automated. <clears throat> Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. <sighs> this is really awkward. I think that's Sam, a Lunati. A moment. Indexing. Yeah, that's a Lunati. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. Yeah, you gotta talk to Lunati. I guess that means we're done for. Yeah, the, the Illuminati opens up. And the Illuminati saves the world, yes. Well, I mean, at least this Earth. Wait, where did the other teammates go? I'll be damned. It's working. We did it. There's hope at least. That's all anyone back on the Ark is looking for. Hope it'll work <clears throat> out. Well, not if we stand around looking at sunsets. <laughs> Let's get back to the shuttle and... Oh! Crap. <laughs> Why does it have to be this way? I guess the Illuminati doesn't want to cooperate. Um. Yeah, we have no oxygen. Doubt. We need an emergency extraction now. They're spinning up the shuttle. ETA is three, maybe four minutes. We don't have that long. Crap, repair my suit, please. No, please. Uh, 
Please, no. No, why? Why that sacrifice? Yeah, I'm not very enthusiastic today. I have no clue what this is. What? Um, I don't know what's going on. This is too deep of science. No clue what just happened. I really don't have any clue. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. <sighs> then how did I make it out? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? <clears throat> Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. Yeah, this is my father. Where? <clears throat> yeah, he died. It was your life or his. And he chose you. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I know this must be a blow. Well, what should I say? I... I can't believe he's gone. I don't want to be a savage, everything was so... Fine and then... He... I know he could be distant. But he once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. Well... What are we doing in Sam Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. What? Sam? <clears throat> your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. Crap. I have lots of responsibilities. You can't be serious. In this no. game. I think you're up for it. Yeah. You saw my dad in action. It takes years to become a Pathfinder. You'll learn as you go. Besides, you won't be doing this alone. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our <clears> way <throat> to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs so... to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. So I have lots of responsibilities now. Oh, Rip. I, um, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. <clears throat> What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. <clears throat> Why? Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Yeah. 
So I got 50 hundred more responsibilities in like a matter of seconds. Great. Crap, now the enemies are here. Oh great. Oh no. Are they gonna destroy the Illuminati? Ugh. I don't know how to act to that scene. I don't know. Please don't destroy the Illuminati. Great. Now we gotta fight him. Someday. So um, now we're in trouble. They don't speak. They don't do anything. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I didn't do anything. I don't know why, but they all look sad. I don't. Now we made them angry. Crap. Alright, let's get some chips and then we'll fight those guys, I guess. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. <clears throat> it's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting <clears throat> on the punch now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc. Oh my Requesting goodness. Clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. That is, um, too big for me. <clears throat> it's like watching Earth on space. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Oh, Doctor Pathfinder's not dead. <clears throat> because she... Chose a new one, right? Alright. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. <clears throat> well, you gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. Crap, lots of responsibilities. This should have been his moment, but now it's yours. I'm not gonna be interested in talking. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. So I'm not gonna talk to anyone because I just wanna get an action done. Because it's trial, I might get a game. It might cost like twenty dollars. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means uh. we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. Too yeah. bad this game, you can't yeah. jump. Rough ride so far. Unless you're fighting, we'll which is really back. sad. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Are we... 
This looks too sci-fi for me. Uh, I don't see. All right, let's just bust in. Where is everybody? Oh wait, can I scan in? Well, this oh. can't be right. Oh, yep. It's like everything's on Let, standby. Let's scan a person. If it's a surprise party, they do. I'm just gonna try to scan everything. Because you know, scannings are worth it. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. All right, let's talk to this guy. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did what? you say an Arc? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. I don't think he can talk. Of course, I'm sorry. Oh, never it's mind. Just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... Oh, crap. But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Oh, Tyrion crap. Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. Isn't that I'm a bad Sarah guy? Rider. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another mouth. Why are we talking to a bad guy? Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. So... I thought that Everything was a bad that could guy. Go wrong with our plan has. I guess not. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the yeah, that setting didn't work out for me too well. Can I... Can I do auto-detect? No word from the other Pathfinders? We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And <clears throat> no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. Rip. I'm Jaron Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Okay, well... We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. So, we're talking to good aliens. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other arcs. <clears throat> what happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live, a golden world. Yeah, well, I now thought more we're... Than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Hey. I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. 
Yeah, well, she doesn't like this. Superintendent of the station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. Rip, aliens. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I, I am not Ryder. Your associate? My name is. I forgot my name. Okay. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. Why are we talking to Vernon An hour aliens? ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Well, at least that guy is happy. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Yeah, rip. <laughs> Six hertz. I don't know why my Okay, so we have to speak with the people. Thank you. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. <laughs> this is the planet where we landed, Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. All right, about time. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is yeah, to settle right. a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Six. Okay, wow. but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... <sighs> the way I see it... You need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. No, this is a roasting session. Where's my ship? Rip. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. Rip. No, I'm fine. All right. So. This compass is really confusing. 
Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office. Yeah, if I could find your door. Then. Workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Huh. I'm just gonna go with Viable nine. planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of Why is she affected by several factors, including temperature, Jeez. resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. Okay, so I'm just gonna look through everything. You are Sarah Ryder, salary code 19B, active pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current supervisor. staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on oh while my. you wait? Staff, for staff. strategy and pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. Yeah, for please, Columbia I don't like him that much. Status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. All right. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate Stop walking thousands back of and potential forth, habitable please. planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. <clears throat> Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Alright, now finally, stop walking back and forth, please. What's... Wait, what? why is there two of her? Wait, what? She magically cloned herself. Cloned herself. Wait, what? Can we talk to this guy? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could yeah, help Yeah, sure. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. Oh, I've, I've sent the scans to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, oh, hey. Okay. Two hours later. As our expedition proves. Wait. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Herrick's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? So we just gotta talk to Pathfinder, everyone. we've had some trouble. 
Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Your work is important. Don't lose sight of that. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna stop recording to get my work out of the way. And I'll re record. All right. Go. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of traveling. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Where is the Hyperion jump? Finally, jeez. I had to travel all the way back Hello, here. Sarah. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain <laughs> facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Okay. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec Ram. wrote the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Oh, great. I call them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. Oh great. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Hmm. I'm just gonna say, wow. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Oh great. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. All right, so now I'm just going to be a mad human. Can I... Okay then, so I'm a super mad human soldier that will kill everyone. Great. Now go to my ship, I think I have to go all the way back. Why are we to remove Sam's memory block? I think... Yeah, he's here. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. 
Return to Samnode on the Hyperion. Okay, to this is lots further. of working around. Let's use a coffee machine. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed oh, wait, the caffeine. Gonna check What's this on out. here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Oh, let's read them. them. Are encrypted. Crap. That log is not currently accessible. Mm -hmm. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Uh, that just... log is not currently accessible. Unlocking what? my memory array may enable it. So three. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna lock up first. I'm just gonna try to unlock everything. <clears throat> This game makes you walk around so much. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific <laughs> memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Play the memory. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council uh -huh. gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Crap. Rep. <sighs> Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. What's with your eyes? There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Ugh. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Uh. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Hey. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. Wow. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. 
I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Alright, just be uh -huh. careful. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where mm. my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar oh. fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Wow. That's all for now. Of course. Oh, imagine. Imagine when NASA had this. So, um, well... Ugh. Now I have to look around all over the world, too. To look for the memory triggers. If it shows where it is. Right, I'm gonna end this episode soon. What did it look for the <clears throat> All right, so what do we I'll make it right like back. Wait. I promise. Pathfinder. I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's better uh, sweet though. My little brother I'm just gonna was stationed on the Nexus. Talk to a few more guys. I'm gonna end this episode years, here. Trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you? Yes, yeah, sure. Of course. In his digital journal. He mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. All right. Oh, it's right there. So I'm just gonna do a few of these objectives. Then I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna end this episode. La la. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. This is too techy. <clears throat> wow, never seen sunshine. Ever. They call her the Tempest. Oh my. That's our new ship. I don't know what I think of it. I mean, having Sam is like. How did that ship, like. Not fall. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, you, you guys need glasses. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. 14 months late. How could we catch up to that? So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra, 
Veteran X. What? Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I can't tell gender Are on ready? aliens. The sooner so. we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Hmm. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Wait, what? Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Okay, then. Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Her voice is weird. Really? Yeah, really. They told Her me glasses are cool. <clears throat> but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. <clears throat> How did that shift my fault? About doing stuff and not just talking about it. I have no clue. Alright, so I'm probably gonna end this episode here. This episode's been nothing but a long talk. <clears throat> After we see this Everything's scene. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. I want her glasses, that's it. But I already have Sam. based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. <clears throat> it runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. Crap. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Ugh. Well, I'm probably gonna end, end this episode here after this cutscene. It's it's just been talking, talking, talking. Yay, yeah, reach we're level to the three. When we're ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna end this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.